Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we are taking down the final parts of chapter 16 where we are now, we left off entering the cursed vault as a man, but we enter as a woman. <laughs> Massive thanks to Dewey or Dewey uh, who sent me these clips. Thank you. Massive recording error on my part. Didn't click record and went through the whole chapter. <laughs> but we have saved by the YouTube community. Thank you very much. I knew I could rely on you guys so quick as well. And perfect timing. Okay, so we left off in the curse vault and we begin there as well. Thankfully, we have Bill Weasley there as well. <laughs> it's incredible. Where's the treasure? I don't know if there's any treasure, but something usually happens when I touch this column. Hmm. 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 Nothing. What's wrong? This happened last year too. I need my brother's broken wand to open it. it. <gasps> You're almost there, Mavis. And Johnny. <laughs> Jacob? Only the final vault is real. The rest are distractions. Decoys. Traps. I helped as much as I could from here. From where? Where are you? Trapped in the next vault. You're the only one who can set me free. Oh god. Where is it? How do I find you? You have to find the next vault, Mavis. We'll find the final vault together. You can't let them get there first. Are you alright, Mavis? No. I feel quite lightheaded after doing that accent. I'm fine. I have visions sometimes. I hear my brother. What do you say? He said he's inside of the next vault. We can't find that one until we get what we came for in this one. Torvis, can I borrow your arrow? I'll give it back, I promise. I won't make that promise, it might break. <laughs> Something bad might happen to it when I touch it. Now let's see what happens when I touch it to the column. Maybe like, I don't know if this is the same arrow that I put in. They're all the same. You can have this one. I touched the column, but I didn't use the arrow. <laughs> what? It makes no sense at all. What is this? Unbelievable. A sweater? <laughs> yeah. What's inside, Mavis? A portrait of a dragon and a sweater? Who could possibly wear a sweater this small? A small child. <laughs> a portrait of a dragon? What? Who cares about the sweaters when there are dragons? We best get back to Hogwarts before that spider comes back. Thank you for everything, Torvus. I lost your arrow in the process, though. Thank you, Mavis. Hopefully this means the sleepwalking curse is broken. And hopefully with this arrow, my herd will have me back. I don't think I'll be making it up to Hogwarts, but hopefully I'll see you again in the Forbidden Forest. I mean, hopefully not, because it's, it's been dangerous. The, probably the most dangerous. I think we got everything, Mavis. Let's go celebrate our victory at my hot rock cakes for everyone. That, that doesn't sound like a celebration, Hagrid. Your rock cakes are not a celebration. Sorry. I would never say that to his face, of course. Professor Dumbledore! Oh, what's Dumbledore doing in the Forbidden Forest? Mavis, I'm pleased to see you're all safe and sound. You love rotten, stinking, filthy little... Mr. Filch. Sorry, Professor Dumbledore. You've entered the Forbidden Forest without my permission. It's my fault, Professor. I told Mavis and her friends I'd escort him. No, it's my fault. It was my idea. And Hagrid is very easily swayed. Fear not, Mavis. There is plenty of blame to go around. Mr. Filch tells me that you also stole something quite valuable from his office. It was you and right, Pit Woman. I'm sure of it. While there is no proof of a theft, there can be no doubt that you continue to exhibit Little respect for Hogwarts rules. I've only figured this out a fourth year. Like two, second year was a clue. Not to mention it's headmaster. Oh, sorry, that, that, that makes me feel bad. Sorry, Dumbledore. Professor Dumbledore, I... We've discussed your misbehaviour too many times. Perhaps you'll respond more favourably to punishment. The only question is, what sort of punishment do you deserve for your indiscretions? What should be your punishment, Mavis, slash Shiny? 
100 points detention, the old punishments. I love the fact that they put 100 points there. Uh, but I went detention. I asked if the person recording could choose detention to hopefully go along the same lines. I'm sorry, Professor. I deserve detention. Just please don't punish my friends. Thank you very much. Uh, I, the reason I went with that is because I didn't want to be cocky. In front of Dumbledore, that would be a bit harsh. Very well. One punishment should suffice. Poof. You will serve detention in the kitchens under the watchful guise of a particularly demanding house elf named Pitts. For how long? From the first day of your fifth year until it becomes obvious to us both that you have learned your lesson. I trust your adventure into the curse vault was well worth it, Mavis. Shiny, it was well worth it. First name. All of you are free to go. What? That's not fair! These filthy beasts need to be properly punishment. All of them, the old way. Mr. Filch. Sorry, Professor Dumbledore. It's rare that you see Dumbledore angry. So, ha. Right. Come celebrate with us three broomsticks, Mavis. And maybe along the way you'll turn into shiny. (laughs) I will. Right, let's go meet our friends at the free broomstick and celebrate our detention. I mean, our breaking of the sleeping curse. Hey everyone, hey Madam Rose Mercer. Rumour is, someone broke the sleepwalking curse. I don't suppose you had anything to do with that. I did. Hey Tulip, what do you know about the portrait corridor? Mavis Vermilion? <laughs> Mavis Vermilion? Hmm, that's an interesting name. I've known tell me there's a giant squid in the Black Lake. Uh, let's keep you safe, probably. Hey, that scarf is better than mine. Ah, oh, I'm jealous. The famous curse breaker has finally arrived. Thanks, but I don't think I'll be breaking many curses in detention next year. I want that scarf. <laughs> we'll worry about next year. Next year, we need to celebrate saving Hogwarts from the sleepwalking curse. Too right. Did you find any new clues inside the forest vault? I feel like we haven't seen much of Tulip. We found a dragon portrait and a tiny sweater. I'm starting to wonder if my brother is leaving random things just to mess with me. Like, they are two of the most random clues you could get. Like, they don't fit together at all. Sounds like something I would do. It feels strange having everyone here without Ben. Rumour is, he still says he can't remember anything, so the teachers let him go while they work out what happened. He's hardly shown his face since. Good. We have to keep a watch on him, but he's still our friend. Think about how terrible it is for him if he's actually telling the truth. Now get ready for the flawless change from Rowan into uh, from a female Ravenclaw to a male Gryffindor. And we should be back. Thankfully, Madam Reekpit was there to save us. And we are back. It seems like we spent all year wondering whether she's our mentor or our arch nemesis. Are you sure you trust Madam Reekpit? Uh, no. I don't trust her at all. I know she saved us and she taught me powerful spells, but for some reason I still feel like she has it in for me. We'll keep her watching her. It could be that she's trying to protect us without giving us all of her secrets. But it also could be that she is trying to lure us into... I don't know. They just, I just find it weird that she came to see a curse vault. She's a curse breaker and she didn't she wanted us to break that curse vault. She wanted so bad for us to go to it. Let's worry about detention and curses and rape pick another time. It's time to celebrate Shiny's victory over the another curse vault. And Shiny becoming the new Gryffindor prefect. Cheers everyone. We did it. We unsealed another curse vault. I knew you had a rebellious streak, and you just like your brother. I've read thousands of books, but never one as amazing as your adventures, right? Sure, sure, Shiny. You took a chance on me. I did, and it was worth it. Worth it. I'm in awe of you, truly. Thank you, Penny. I feel the same way about you. Charlie told me he's he's been meaning to talk to you about the cursed vaults. He wants to talk about the dragon, right? I'd change my face to look like you, you know who, but I like my face too much. I deserve a rest. Thanks everyone. Success. We successfully enjoyed, celebrated our victory. Hagrid? (laughs) Hagrid, are you going to join us for one more Butterbeer before summer holidays? 
Oh, I feel like a punishment is coming for him. I wish I could, Shiny, but we both need to make our way back to Hogwarts. Professor Dumbledore wants to see you in his office. He probably wants to introduce me to the house elves in the kitchen before my detention starts next year. I don't know, but it's never a good idea to keep the headmaster waiting. I'll come. To Dumbledore's office. I wonder if he's going to say, I feel like you've served enough time in your detention. But it hasn't started. I'd like to see you in my office this instant, Shiny. If it's this instant, right, I don't want to be waiting around for you. I've already proven my patience. Hi, hey, Fox. Professor Dumbledore? Is anyone here? Squawk? Hi, Fox. I know you're here, Fox. I guess I'll have to look around until he gets back. Oh my god, he's left me waiting. How urgent is urgent in your mind? Dumbledore. I wonder if Professor Dumbledore ever talks to these portraits. Are you stunning, odd young one? Have you seen any of my other portraits around the castle? No troublemaker, are we? Oh, God, sure has declined since I was headmaster. I hope Professor Dumbledore hasn't decided to double my detention sentence. To be nether sede malis se contra adventio aito. Success. Right, Dumbledore. I guess I'll just leave and wait for another message to come. Oh, my God. Madam Ratepick. How did you do that? Flu powder. If you never use flu powder, remind me to introduce you to it next year. It will be essential in our respective journeys. Congratulations on discovering the curse vault and breaking the sleepwalking curse, Shiny. It's a good thing I saved your life. Where's Professor Dumbledore? You had an important matter to turn to, so you left me in charge. What, in charge of Hogwarts? Not yet. <laughs> he left me in charge of guiding you into the future, amongst other things. Can you get me out of detention? I cannot. I actually believe you'll find working with the house elves in the kitchens to be quite enlightening. I can, however, change the rules to offer you more freedom and protection in your search for the final vaults. Thank you, Madam Ratepick. Professor Ratepick. New defense against the dark arts class teacher. I don't understand. I've decided to accept Dumbledore's offer to become the new defense against the dark arts professor. Somebody said that. Somebody made a prediction about that. They say the position is cursed, but curses were made to be broken. Not this one. <laughs> Get some rest during your summer holidays, Shenny. Next year will be quite exciting. Right, so that is it for chapter 16 we obviously have color porters and skelligro to learn before we end that where we'll have chapter 17 but that's all for this one hopefully you enjoyed it thank you to whoever it was that gave me the video because at this point i don't know because this is pre-recorded so hopefully somebody's given me it and uh yeah thank you for appearing in my video and allowing me to do that so that's all for this one hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that is all from me see you guys soon